we all know that we need an emergency fund and if 2020 has taught us anything we need to be prepared for the worst so let's talk about the best ways to build an emergency fund what's going on youtube josh is the name magnitude is the channel and let's talk money into things if you wouldn't mind hitting the subscribe button I know that a lot of you who watch my channel are not subscribers it'll really help me out a ton and uh, if you like this video hit the like button so I just hit a personal accomplishment I have six months of expenses in my emergency fund if there's one thing I've learned from this and building my emergency fund to where I feel comfortable is that no matter what milestone you hit in your finances you never feel like you have enough you always want to create more security for yourself so I'll probably still be adding to my emergency fund, but not as aggressively as I have been. Now, having an emergency fund is extremely important. You never know what's gonna happen on the horizon, what kind of emergencies might pop up. The average American can't even handle a $1,000 emergency, so getting that first $1,000 is extremely important. Once you get past that $1,000 and you pay off your debts, you wanna continue to build that emergency fund to three to six months of expenses because you just wanna make sure that you're taken care of. Everyone has rainy days and it's nice to be prepared. I don't know if it's the former Boy Scout in me, but I like to be prepared for any situation. I think a lot of people and a lot of us, we're making just enough at our day jobs to cover our expenses. And so it can be hard to build an emergency fund. But there are things that we can do to get around just making enough to pay the bills. I talk a lot about frugality on this channel and frugality is important, but sometimes you're just not making enough. Sometimes it really is an income problem. There's really no way around it. What you have to do to get financially stable sometimes is you just have to work more. You have to create some side hustle. Personally, the first side hustle that I started um, once I was trying to get on this debt-free journey and uh, get my life in order financially was I started doing Uber Eats because it was something that I could start immediately. Really could sign up the day I wanted to get started and was approved that same day to go out and start delivering food. Also did DoorDash. Honestly, I think that's gonna be the best way to build an emergency fund quickly. Not specifically Uber Eats or DoorDash, but to create some kind of side income. Some of the other things that I did to get my emergency fund where I needed it to be is I started freelancing on the side. Any job that you have, you're getting paid to do some kind of skill and most of the time you can find clients and people that are interested in the kind of skills that you can do beyond your employer and you can freelance doing that. Personally, I have a breadth of experience when it comes to digital marketing. In the past, I've been a web designer. I've been an SEO specialist. Um, I've done graphic design. And, you know, I do videos here on YouTube. Uh, a lot of people like to see the videos that I do and have asked me to help them out with some of their video projects um, after seeing this channel. And I just wanted to mention that, you know, anything that you do and you put yourself out there, people are going to take notice and they're gonna wanna tap into your talents and you can charge them for that. I have a freelance rate of $100 an hour, uh, which is, <laughs> that's a lot of money uh, when you're working hourly. I have a little over 10 years of experience in what I do, so I can charge that much, but even if you get started at like 30, 40, 50 dollars an hour with your freelancing, you know, that's still quite a big chunk of change. So get out there, freelance, build that emergency fund, and I'll tell you, it feels so good to have six months of expenses in my account, because now I know that if something happens, if there's something terrible that the company I work for goes out of business, I've got me and my family set up to be taken care of if crap hits the fan. Now here's a pro tip when it comes to emergency funds. You wanna make sure that your emergency fund is in an account separate from the accounts that you use on the daily. I have mine in a high interest savings account. There are several good ones out there. Um, I personally like Ally Bank as well as Vio Bank. There's a few others. I think there's one called Redneck Bank that's really good. Um, that one's actually got some really fun branding if you want to check it out. You know, you may as well be making money off of this money that you have set aside for an emergency. A lot of these high interest savings accounts from these online only banks are much higher than your traditional banks. I think Wells Fargo pays like 0.05% interest, and so does Chase. 
Um, you know, these big banks, they really don't give you a lot of bang for your dollar. But you can go to these online only banks and they have much lower overhead so they can give you a lot higher interest rates. Even a lot of the time, local credit unions will have really good interest rates on their savings accounts. But you wanna make sure that your emergency fund, while you can make money off of it with interest in a bank account, you wanna make sure that it's somewhat liquid. And what I mean by liquid, if you don't know what that term means, is that it's essentially in cash or a cash equivalent. It can be in your hands within a day or two and you can take care of your business. So question for you and put your answer in the comments below. What are you gonna do for your side hustle? You can watch my older video on side hustles that you can start today. It's gonna be up in one of these two corners, whichever one has the, the pop-up. That can give you some ideas to get started. A lot of those are things that you have to trade your time for. I also have a couple of online side hustles eBay, Teespring, and eventually, hopefully, this YouTube channel. So again, your support means everything. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to you next time. Peace.